two or three days after the murder took place, there were a few people in the community that were pointing accusing fingers at the religious community. Considering that they haven't found yet who did it, how do you feel about that? I don't think that any, any uh, sector as a whole should be blamed in any case. Even if the person did it is a real person. It's not the whole sector anyway. I, I think it was, it, it was said out of pain and anger. And uh, I can't say it shouldn't be said because, you know, it's, feeling, it's people's emotions and what they, they said uh, from the bottom of their heart. But if I look at it backwards, I said it shouldn't be said. Uh, and people shouldn't take it seriously when people talk from their heart when they have the biggest uh, crisis ever. I don't want to generalize, but some streams in the religious camp in Israel can be uh, the ones that can uh, be, be found responsible for this kind of act. I say that as long that as religious people continue to call people like me perverts, accusation will be thrown in their direction. There are many religious people that support the gay community, but we don't hear them. I want, when, whenever some religious guy say bad things about my community, I want to hear the other religious guy who say good things, and I don't. So, Well, I, I make a distinction between uh, leaders of any community that their words are very dangerous because their words make an impact, and blaming or accusing whole communities, just like we don't want anybody to treat the GLBT community as one uh, mono, uh, segment of, of population stereotypically, we don't blame any community. It was one person, one person did it. Uh, if there was influence, well, possibly. I think that leadership, part of the, the test that any leadership has to go through is looking into itself in retrospect and figuring out what damage their words can cause. Unfortunately, not all the leaders learned. Unfortunately, the Israeli parliament is still a stage for hostile, for violent remarks. Hopefully, this, this rally, the rally in Jerusalem that we had just a couple of days ago, Pride everywhere in Israel will make a difference, will make a change. I think that the one good thing that happened is that the Shas party people, they toned down their, their, their bad uh, mouthing over, over, over gay people. They're much more moderate now, and I always believe that it starts with people moderating their tone of voice and their tone of speak. And then, little by little, they understand that they know gay people, etc., etc. I don't. It's not that I have a lot of hope in the in the in the religious institutions. The Jewish, the the, the Catholic, the Muslim. They are not our best friends. But you know, step by step, let's let's concentrate on the beautiful crowd here.